Hi guys, uh, going to tie another Mayfly Nymph, this time an, an unweighted one. And I suppose it's somewhere along the lines of a walker, but uh, a few different changes to it. So, this here is a size 10 uh, long shank hook, to be a 30. Uh, so, I've attached our tie and silk. What I'm going to do is take a cock pheasant centre, pull off a bunch, and this is going to take to make our uh, tail. So tie that in relatively short and snap it off. And a general length, you know, you'd kept that for the thorax cover, but uh, I find it gets in the way. Uh, so we're going to add the thorax cover at a later point. So I'm going to take now a a wire for the rib. This is an olive wire and tie it in back to where our tail tie in is. Next uh, we want to make the body. So for the body I have a mix of natural seal and possum and uh, pine squirrel. So I'm going to take a bunch of that and we'll dub that onto our tie-in thread. Get a couple of turns to lock in a few fibres then that will allow you to uh, tighten up your dubbing rope. And then we'll rib, sorry not rib, wrap the body up say three quarters of the way along the, the shank. And then I'm going to rib it. Now you can rib in the same direction as you wrapped your, your body. It'll sink in a little bit more or you can rib in the opposite direction going across the turns of dubbing and then your ribbon will stand out more. When we get to the front here with the ribbon, one, two, three, and pull and snap it off. That saves you cutting wire with your scissors. A couple of turns, hold it in place, and then we're going to go back to our cock pheasant. Center tail. Pull off a decent bunch and then what I'm going to do is just push it to align the tips. And these tips are going to become our hackle or breathers. So I'm going to go to the front of the fly and I'm going to tie those in so they're sticking out the front. Just allow it display across. Then tie this back as far as you want your thorax to be. And this is then going to become our thorax cover. So next we need to dub on our thorax. So for this I've made a mix of a possum uh, body fur and also a pine squirrel. Now, if you don't have those don't worry just use hair's ear or something, some other sort of darkish dubbing whatever you want just to create a contrast in colour. Just going to dub that on. Create a little ball for our thorax. And then it's time to fold this back, so I'm just going to splay it out. Then slide it all back and get a couple of turns across it, and that has created our hackle effect. And then we take our thorax cover through the center of, of that. Turn to hold it in place, or two, fold that back, and then a few turns over that, and that will make the tying in and cutting off of this neater, because if you try and cut it off there, obviously it'll have a little bit sticking out the front. A couple of whip finish type knots, and then this, just hold it up, slide our scissors down to the base of it and cut it off. And that is our unweighted Mayfly Nymph. Just going to take out a few other straggly fibers because we don't really, because it's not weighted, we want it sort of slim line so it'll do a bit of sinking. And then we need to varnish the head.
with that clay. Just clear varnish or a super glue, whatever you want. Get in there. And that is our unweighted Mayfly nymph. So, like what you see, like and subscribe, tell your friends, bring them along, uh, and until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.